Hey, welcome back into today's video. I've probably not been this excited this year as I am right now. And the reason I am is because uh, Guatemalan YouTuber known as uh, Cristali, uh, Voldrex, if you're, he's got a, about a dozen different names. We've been covered him for the last year or so, and it's been a community group effort to try to uh, expose this person for horrible, horrible things. And, uh, he's been caught. The YouTuber made the production of, you read that, through the creation of anime characters Cristali uh, and Jade, the capture took place as a result of public denunciations of several. I don't even know what that word means. Denunciation. But essentially what they're talking about is, we've known this for a while. Uh, victims of this YouTuber was coming forward. They were reaching out to me, uh, another YouTuber by the name of Nani, and several others in the community, as well as putting videos out there on their own. Behind the scenes, as a YouTuber, when you're reading these accounts from the victims, it's extremely difficult and it takes a toll on us. And we get invested in these stories. And um we reach out to youtube we do everything that we can and it just seems like nothing's happening even more victims come forward and tell us of all the things that's going on and we feel like we've i think i did two videos on cristali and um we we i felt like i was doing everything that could but these these things were still happening and uh it's the best news ever to hear that they caught him agents of the national civil police and prosecutors of the public ministry deployed an operation in villa nueva in which they captured a man known for producing anime content on youtube who according to investigations of authorities produced that word according to the researches of mp the captured man used characters of anime to capture the attention of girls and impressed them with his drawings of anime, held conversations on the social network Instagram by tightening the bond of friendship and asked them for intimate photographs. This uh, tightening of a bond of friendship is grooming by nature. Um, and here you can see the police are have him apprehended and they're taking him out of the house and they did it goes on to say that they established that the detainee received photographs of girls and then he drew and designed them in anime to sell on an independent website of child material so he was uh coercing these young girls i mean i'm talking 12 13 14 a uh, 19 year old man uh coercing these girls into sending him photographs so he could draw them and then he was turning around and he was selling that computer experts discovered a series of complaints from girls who were attacked by Cristali. The victims posted videos explaining how they were affected. Prosecutors packed computer equipment and cell phones that are the evidence of the case. So they found phones, multiple phones, uh, multiple uh, devices in general that uh, that contained these things. And if you guys are unfamiliar, I'm gonna put the original videos that I did as well as some videos from Nani and a couple others in the description below, because we knew that this sadly was going on year a year or so ago, and probably even uh, longer than that, before it even came to my attention. Um, but just looking at this, he had a whole operation here. So here's a picture of him actually watching the officers go through all his stuff. There's a quote here that says uh, he drew them, the miners who shared photographs and designed anime to later market them, the final arts on an independent website uh, of, wow. There, he was putting this out on a website that was dedicated to this. So for him to even be putting this out on a website and even knowing that there's a whole website dedicated to this, oh, it's mind blowing. Um, I'm just glad that justice is being Serve. I'm going to put this into the description below. It's it's going to be in Spanish, but um, if you you can download a like a Google uh, button or a little program attachment, and it, it'll translate it for you, so you guys can read this. I did get some minor translations of some news articles and news videos that were going out. If you go to this video, I'm going to put it in the description below. You can see. Uh, it's filled with a lot of happy people. You 
Nani reached out and gave me this. It says someone gave me a summary of what the news said. Basically, Cristali is being searched by the U.S. and Guatemalan authorities. A famous YouTuber known as Valdrex is asking for material from minors. He was the creator of characters Cristali, Zafiro, and Jade, which he used to get the attention of girls once they were impressed with his drawings. They had conversations on Instagram, and they were coerced into, of course, sending them uh, pictures, and he would draw them and then go on to sell them. It's it's awful, and. I'm just glad that he's caught. Now, this is big news and a happy day in general for a lot of uh, people. I think the next obvious course of action is going to be his channel will probably be terminated and YouTube will, because YouTube will have to address this. I know Nani reached out to YouTube. I reached out to YouTube and was trying to get attention to this. And nine times out of 10, these things kind of get uh, brushed under the table. And then when, um, these accusations go to court. Uh, YouTube usually addresses them, deletes the channel afterwards, and I think that's what we're going to see here. But uh, I just wanted to make an update video on this and hear from you guys because as interesting as this is, there is always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs up. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Feeling good, man. Uh, like I said, we've been working on raising awareness for this for the last year that this has been brought to my attention. And during that year, it was really difficult for uh, the victims to reach out to me and, and hear their stories. And then doing all that we can do and then having new victims reach out, that was probably the hardest thing. But uh, no more. Uh, I guess the last thing I got to say about this is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. I know that you're repping for repping your Greg and how do you do that? All I gotta do is subscribe and notification I'll be in the conversation for every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Woo! That's right, Greg.